their voice for their rights. And she grabbed some little girl and had the little girl in her arm. She said, this is his daughter. Now, it didn't dawn on me who his was. I didn't know we were talking about him, my neighbor. I thought she meant another dude. You see them on a more frequent basis, and you recognize that some of these things are actually abuses. If you guys can see this, I don't know how to explain it, how to describe it. This is war zone. Terrible. It's completely gone. But it shows the moment of the Boston Marathon bomb attack that left three dead. Hundreds turned out to stand in silence again in Istanbul's Taksim Square on Wednesday. It's in stark contrast to the often violent scenes between police and protesters. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says that both sides in Syria will continue to fight and to fight and to fight. Kenyan officials say they're closing in on the Al-Shabaab militants who stormed the mall on Saturday, killing at least 62 people. But it's unclear how many gunmen and hostages are still in the building. As a starting point, the international community must enforce the ban on chemical weapons. U.S. drone strikes on Pakistan and Yemen are in the spotlight again. I've seen players retire, you ask them about it, they always say you'll know when you're ready. The games of the 32nd Olympiad in 2020 are awarded to the city of Tokyo. Yeah!